Hello, my name is Bernie Thompson. I'm president of Automotive Test Solutions. Today we're here to look at this Volvo. This Volvo is using coolant, a very small loss of coolant, a half a gallon every two to three months. This is the third time the vehicle has been back to the shop. They've already looked for the CO2 in the cooling system, but couldn't find it with any conventional method. They pulled the head and replaced the head gasket. That was three months ago. The car was back and we have a loss of coolant, about a half a gallon or so. There's no external leakage that anyone can see. So what I want to do is I want to check this cooling system to see if CO2 is in it. If CO2 is in the cooling system, that means the combustion gas has got into the cooling system. There should be no CO2 in the system. That means coolant can also get into the combustion chamber and be burned and put out the tailpipe where there's no sign of it, just the loss. So the first thing we're going to do, and the first tool that I want to check, is with the CO2 leak detector. I'm going to adjust the CO2 leak detector to set the sensitivity. Just did a light hum. Now I'm going to take the cap off of the cooling system, whether it be a radiator or a bottle. I'm going to take the sensor and put it down into the bottle. Make sure that you don't get this into the coolant. Coolant will ruin the sensor tip. We can hear the sensor start to pick up the CO2. We can clearly see in here that this has detected CO2 in this system. Now what I want to do is try some other systems to find CO2. We have another probe that finds CO2 for air conditioning systems. Are all probes equal? Let's see. As we can see, this indicator is not finding CO2. The sensitivity of this unit is not sensitive enough to find the small CO2 traces that you need to find in order to know that the head has to come off again. Let's try a block tester. Here we have a block tester. Clearly, the solution is still blue and hasn't changed at all, indicating that it cannot see CO2. The problem with this is, is this is bromine blue. It has a reaction that occurs from acidity that changes the color. This is a chlorometric indicator that they're using. It takes a large amount of CO2 in a cooling system before this is going to change. By the time this changes, you'll see the pressure in these systems. You won't need this in order to find it. Let's try another one that a lot of shops use is a five gas analyzer. If we put the five gas analyzer in and we look for a change, what we're going to find is that this unit pulls a lot of air. I pull a lot of air out of the system. It's a dilution and it dilutes the CO2, the very small traces. It's what you've got to understand is the bullseye leak detector, this is looking for several parts per million. This means that I can find a problem like this in less than five minutes. That makes your shop money and stops these comebacks.